Folks, Brian Blessing in Las Vegas. Glad to be with you here at ATS.io. All right, we've got the Houston Texans taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two different stories here. 2-0 and for the Steelers, 0-2 for the Texans. Steelers, three and a half, four-point favorites. Total on the game is 45. Steelers, 26 points scored in both games. They beat the Giants, and then they beat Denver, knocking Locke out of the game. And Driscoll actually had some success against them. Roethlisberger threw for uh, over uh, 311 yards, I guess it was, uh, in the game against the Broncos. So a lot of underneath stuff. We know Smith uh, Schuster's a terrific wide receiver. They've got some deep play threats. It was Connor who was questionable to play in the game, had a big day running the football. And it's good for the Steelers because their defense is stout. And as long as Roethlisberger stays upright, quietly they're under the radar behind uh, the Ravens. But I'm telling you, I've been saying this throughout training camp, which was kind of a weird thing without pads, and then no preseason games, that 87% of the time teams that start 0-2 miss the playoffs. But that might change this year because I do believe some teams are going to come out of the gate slow and figure out who they are in weeks three, four, five, and then become much better football teams. Now, I'm a horse racing guy. I will just say this. Class, the company you keep, Really, is there any great disgrace? Yeah, I know you can say anything you want about the Hopkins trade and O'Brien, and you can carve holes in Houston all you want. But is there really any great disgrace in losing to Kansas City and Baltimore? If you're a Houston Texans fan, I would say no. And I think you've got to give them the benefit of the doubt. And I think this is one of those games where Deshaun Watson will channel his inner Russell Wilson, and he knows their season's basically on the line here. And I think he'll do everything in his power to keep this game close, if not win it outright for the Texans. Will Fuller's been terrific uh, in Hopkins' absence, but somebody else has to step up. Uh, We'll see. I just think that Watson is going to have a monster game here, and he is going to be scrambling, running, making plays with his feet, making big plays downfield. No knock on the Steelers. This is simply a desperation play on the Texans because they're desperate. And again, they lost to Baltimore and they lost to Kansas City. Just based on the company you keep, I think the Texans are a live dog against the Steelers in week three in the NFL. Always a treat to be with you at ATS.io. I'm Brian Blessing in Las Vegas.